Here we have a question. In this question, a dragonfly is flying from point A to point B in 1.50 seconds. Here, we have to find the x and y component of position vector at point A and also find the magnitude and direction of its position vector at point A. And after that, we have to find the x and y component of dragons, dragonflies average velocity from point A to point B and also we have to find the magnitude and direction of its average velocity between these two points. So first of all, let's understand what is position vector. Position vector is the coordinate or we can say the distance from the reference point where we consider reference point as point O where the coordinates of reference point are 0 comma 0. So now here as we know we can write the value of x component at this point that is equal to 2 where the value of y component can be written as 1 as we know we can write the coordinates of point A and these are going to be the x and y component of position vector at point A and in order to find the magnitude and the direction we have to calculate the distance between point A and point O according to the Pythagoras theorem we can write this distance that would be equal to let's suppose the distance comes out to be r that is equal to under root of 2 square plus 1 square where we can write it as under root 5 now as we can see we have found the magnitude and in order to find the direction we have to understand let's draw a right angle triangle and let's understand what is the value of tan theta as we know we can write the value of tan theta as opposite side divided by adjacent side now as we substitute the value length of opposite side is equal to 1 length of adjacent side is equal to 2 from here we can take tan inverse and find the value of angle theta now after that in order to find the x and y component of dragonfly's average velocity first of all we have to find the total distance traveled along x axis and the total distance traveled along y axis so this distance is going to be the total distance traveled along x axis that comes out to be 8 and the total distance traveled along y axis would be this height as you can see here this is going to be 6 minus 1 that comes out to be 5 divided by the time taken that is 1.50 seconds so from here we can find the x and y component of dragonfly's average velocity and after that we are going to find the magnitude and direction of its average velocity as we can see here in order to find the magnitude we must know the x component of velocity and the y component of velocity from here we can calculate the magnitude of velocity that can be written as under root of vx square plus vy square and in order to find the value of theta we will use the formula of tan theta where we can write opposite side upon adjacent side so from here we can easily find the value of theta now let's move forward so first of all we are going to find the x and y component of its position vector at point a so in figure as we can see the coordinates of point a are 2 comma 1 where 2 is the x coordinate and y is the y coordinate so from here we can say that the x component is equal to 2 meter while the y component of position vector at point A is equal to 1 meter. Now let's move forward. Here we have to find the magnitude and direction of the position vector at point A. So as we discussed, we will use this formula according to the Pythagorean theorem where we can write r equal to under root of x square plus y square. So here it comes out to be under root of phi. So as we solve this value that comes out to be 2.2 meter. Now in order to find the value of theta as we discussed we can write it as tan theta equal to opposite side upon adjacent side while the length of opposite side is equal to y and the length of adjacent side is equal to x. So from here we can write theta equal to tan inverse y divided by x. So as we substitute the value we can find the value of theta that comes out to be 26.6 degree. 
Now let's move forward. Here we have to find the x and y component of dragonfly's average velocity. For that we must know the total displacement along x direction and the displacement along y direction. So from here we can write the value of let's suppose this comes out to be delta y and this comes out to be delta x where delta x is the total displacement along x direction. We'll divide it by the time delta t and this is going to be the value of vx means the x component of dragonfly's average velocity and same for the y component which can be written as vy equal to delta y divided by delta t. So from here we can write the value of vx. The x coordinate at point b that is 10 and the x coordinate at point a that is equal to 2. So from here we can write the distance between them that comes out to be 8 and it is covered in 1.50 seconds. So we will write it at 8 divided by 1.50 second that comes out to be 5.3 meter per second. So we can say that we have found the x component of dragonfly's average velocity. Now let's find the y component of dragonfly's average velocity. As we know the value of y component at point B means the y coordinate at point B that is equal to 6 while the x com while the y coordinate at point A that is equal to 1. So from here we can write the value of delta y that is equal to 5 and we will divide it by time delta t that is equal to 1.5. So from here we can write the value of vy that comes out to be 3.3 .3 meter per second. So here we can say that the average velocity along x direction that is equal to 5.3 meter per second while the average velocity along y direction that is equal to 3.3 .3 meter per second. Now let's move forward here we have to find the magnitude and direction of the average velocity. So as we know the x component of velocity we know the y component of velocity. Now we are going to find the magnitude. So as we know this is the value of vy this is the value of vx. So from here we can write the value of v that is equal to under root of vx square plus vy square. So as we substitute the value of vx and vy we can find the value of magnitude that comes out to be 6.2 meter per second. Now here we have to find the value of angle phi. So first of all let's draw the diagram and which is going to be the angle phi. So as we can see here. So as we can see here this is going to be the angle phi that is equal to y component of velocity divided by the x component of velocity. We can write the value of tan phi as vy divided by vx. Now let's take inverse of tan on both the sides. So from here we can write phi equal to tan inverse of vy divided by vx. So from here the value comes out to be 32 degrees. So here we have found the magnitude and the direction of the average velocity that comes out to be 6.2 meter per second while the direction is 32 degree respectively. Thank you.